Okay, hi guys. So now I'll be showing you how to cut the breast part and what to use for the breast part. So without much talk for the breast cutting for the back, and this is the front cutting. This is the front cutting for the bust, and this is the middle. As you can see, this is the middle cutting. This is the middle cutting. This is the middle cutting, and um, this is the back. This is for the back, and this is your two inch for your zip allowance. So now, how to part this up? You take this. Each fabric has the front and the back. So now, what you do first? This material, like I said on the previous video, this is called warden. It has to, there are two types of warden. This is, they have this light one, they have the thicker one. You use the thick one for those that have small breasts. For those that have small breasts and they want it to be well padded, you can use that thick one. But you can, but this one is the normal one to use. This is the light one. As you can see, here is the shiny face of it, and here is the dull side. And this is called paper steel. You can see how transparent it is, and you can see how light it is. When you touch, when you're touching it, this side, a particular this edge feels rough, the other side is smooth. So now, how to use it on this? You take this paper steel, you place it, this rough edge, and your fabric, the back of your fabric, you place it on it an iron you first place it and you cut out the shape after cutting out the shape you iron the same thing goes to this this is warden you see the shiny part of it you place the shiny part of it at the back on top of this on top of this paper steel you cut out the shape you place it now to iron this one you don't place it like this to iron. You place this warden like this, facing the shiny part because the shiny part contains where the glue is. So you place the shiny part upwards. Then you take your fabric, the back of your material, you place it on it like this, smoothly iron it. You iron it gently without leaving no roughness on it. After ironing this, it will come out thick to come out thick and smooth the straight line and this so for the back this is the back for this back you don't need this for the back all you need is this for the back this paper steel is like that steel okay for the back you'll be using just this which is paper steel so this paper steel you place it it's either you're gumming this on the fabric or you're gumming it on the lining if you know you can if you know you can iron well because when sewing there are different ways of ironing the way you iron your normal dress is different from ironing when you're sewing so if you know you do you don't you won't have a smooth ironing so i advise you you iron on your lining than ironing on the material so when you iron on, on the lining after ironing it comes out well when you turn it it comes out well so for the back you use the super steel for the back like i said the way I showed you. So now, for this bust region, for the front, after using this paper steel to gum it, now, you also use this, you also cut this, but I will show you how to cut this, because this one, you are not cutting it full, you, you're going to cut it half, because you just, where you're focusing mostly, is just the nipple region, just this front, this front part of the bust, that is where you're focusing more on, not on the body, okay? Then you take your scissors or you take your chalk. You can see this point. This point is the underbust. So this point, okay, this point here is your underbust. As you can see, here is your underbust. Here is your underbust. And here is your upper bust. You're seeing the line. So now you fold this your material like this. Make it a slant shape. You see the way my hand is. You fold it like this. Either you fold it to get a curvy shape, or you just take it out and you slant it 
you join the two lines together first you can see i've joined the two lines together so i bring back this i place this here i place this here you can see then now that placing then you cut this is the way i cut So I've cut this out. So now you can see it. So now I have to cut this out. You see the way this line, you follow this line to cut out. So you see, this is the this is for the bust. You cut this out for the bust. So now for this now, you first of all use your paper steel. This the rough side of the paper steel to gum the back of the fabric then you take this forward and this is the shiny part you place it down you place it down this is it i placed it down then i take my fabric i place it on top you can see it the curve is there everything is there you make sure it doesn't come out then you iron it on it so after ironing you have a cup on it you have a cup so when you sew this way, even if the person is putting on the dress without bra, no one knows about it. And to give a perfect, to give a fit, to give a perfect fitting for the for the bust, no matter how big or how small. And if you don't want to do this, is half. This is just half of the bust. If you want to do a full padding, it's up to you and your client what the client wants. So you can also do a full padding or you do a half padding just for the bust. Thank you. So stay tuned for the next video please do like and subscribe to my youtube channel love you guys <laughs>